Yep, it's an old brake disc. Come off of one of my old cars, actually. As the guy was kind of like taking it off and chucking it in the, this big bin full of these things, I said to him, excuse me, mate, do you mind if I keep my old discs? And he was like, if you want. And I looked at this and I thought to myself, hmm, wonder what I could make out of this. Um, I hate chucking things away, I really do. Um, and if I can think that I can maybe make something with it, or do something with it, look at the state of it, it's absolutely shot to pieces, um, then I will. It weighs a ton as well. Really, really, really heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Now, I've got a couple of ideas with this. Well, actually one. <laughs> There's not much I can do with it. I definitely can't put it on the lathe, but I wonder if I can incorporate and make something really cool with it. Maybe a light or something, maybe add a bit of wood to it. I don't know, but you're about to find out.
And there it is. Like I said, this weighs an absolute ton. I'm not going to be standing here for very long holding this. But there we go, it gives you a bit of an indication of, of kind of like how it's all been put together. Um, got the old nice burr on there as well, uh, which looks, I think it looks quite cool. It gives it a bit of a, you know, a base. What I am going to do is I'm going to put some pads on the base here just so that it doesn't like scratch up this surface or something like that. I've got some really nice black uh, pads. Put this over here. <laughs> and what we do is we turn it on actually. Oh, whew. that is a beast. Beast from the south. Right, let's plug this in. So there we go. <laughs> what do you reckon? I actually quite like that. I really actually enjoyed doing this project. Um, I know it's nothing really majorly kind of like out there or special. I just sort of saw it and I thought to myself, you know what, that looks so cool. I think, you know, looking at it, I thought that I didn't want to chuck that away. I thought that looked really good. Um, you know, and, and I thought I'd try and make something with it. And there you go. It's a light. I posted this on Instagram, uh, just the actual rusty kind of like disc and asked kind of everyone what they thought. And a lot of people came up with lamp. There's lots of other ideas out there that everyone sort of put resin in it. Turn it on a lathe. Uh, I'm not too sure whether turning it on a lathe would have been a good idea. Just turn the lights off again quick. <coughs> just so you can kind of, just to see it again. Boom! <laughs> Do you know what, actually? It looks quite nice. It's, it's kind of a nice... You can't even see me in there, can you? So yes, you could change the bulb if you wanted. I want to do some more of these kind of like really funky kind of like lights. Derek. I bought a few bits and pieces actually at a car boot sale, kind of like off of eBay, bits and pieces that I kind of thought that I can try and make into lights. So if you don't mind, again, this is going to be a mixed up channel. And if you're looking for a channel and not know what to expect, then this is for you. I'm for you. <laughs> so yeah, there it is folks hope you like it well thanks for joining me on the channel uh, before I waffle on and kind of take up all your weekend um, and um, I will leave stills up at the end if you haven't subscribed to me already please hit the subscribe button for some more funky weird things happening we do wood turning on the show we do metal working a little bit we do some upcycling of like you know lights lamps and things like that we do some restorations we mix up with some resin we make some tables vases i don't know anything really that i think might be kind of weird we also do the odd experiment now and again i do like experiments as you know i've got lots of projects going on bits here and bits there i sort of start a project and then i kind of like get waylaid and then I sort of pick up another project and sort of get involved in that one. So I've kind of got like projects sort of dotted around everywhere. A piece here and a piece here and a piece there. And, but none of them are finished. <laughs> so, which is kind of like a little bit frustrating. So I'm, I come in the workshop and I'm like, right, uh, which project shall I try to finish now? Um, you know, and then I get halfway through a project or carry on with it. And I think, oh, no, I need to order something. So I order something on internet. And then, so I go to another project. And yeah, it's, it's all a bit crazy. Pretty crazy, actually. Anyway, there's me waffling on again. Um, I'll leave stills up at the end. Please subscribe if you haven't done. Check out my Instagram. I have a personal one and a workshop one. All in the links below. Take care. Have a great weekend.